Excel's built-in icon sets have a limited collection of icons. If you can't find the icons that you need, you can create your own set. Set up a lookup table with the values and symbols for your formatting rules. Then add the conditions in an adjacent cell to show the applicable icon. In the lookup table, insert the desired icons. Select the cell and in the insert tab, click on symbols. Wingdings fonts show pictures, images and symbols instead of letters and are widely used to type frequently used symbols such as smiles, arrows, etc. Wingdings fonts are true type fonts and come with a different version. The original Wingdings font, Wingdings 2, Wingdings 3 and Webdings. You can select a symbol from any of these fonts. In the symbol dialog box, select the Wingdings 2 font. Pick the symbol you want and click on insert. Copy the character code located at the bottom and click on close. Paste the character code in adjacent cell. Enter the condition for which this icon is displayed. For example, greater than or equal to 75. Select symbols for other conditions. In the column where you want the icons to appear, enter this formula in the top cell. The care function returns the character based on the code. The first if checks if the value is greater than or equal to the value in K2 and if true returns the first symbol. If it is false, the second if checks for the second condition and if true returns the second symbol. If it is false, the last symbol is returned. Copy the formula down. Change the font for that column to the one you got the symbol from. Select the column. In the Home tab, in the Font section, select Wingdings 2. The symbols appear in the cells based on values in column B. Black and white icons appear dull, so you can give them a better look by coloring the cells. Create a highlight cell rule for each condition. Click on conditional formatting and select highlight cell rules. Select equal to. Enter this formula. In the format drop down, select custom format. In the fill tab, pick a color and click on OK. Click on OK. Create two more rules for other conditions. All the cells with the same icons are colored with the same color. Add custom icon sets using virtual keyboard. You will find the virtual keyboard icon on the taskbar. If the keyboard icon is not there, right click on the taskbar and then select show touch keyboard button. Open the virtual keyboard. In your summary table, select the cell where you want to insert the icon and then click on the icon you like. Alternatively, you can open the emoji keyboard by pressing the windows and period shortcut and select the icons there. In the column where you want custom icons, enter this formula in the first cell. The formula returns the first icon if the value is greater than or equal to the value in G2 and so on. Copy the formula down. We don't need the character codes or set the font type in the column. When added to Excel, the icons are black and white. To make them look better, you can format them by creating a highlight cell rule. For example, color the icon for greater than or equal to 75 green, greater than or equal to 45 yellow and less than 45 red. Create a highlight cell rule for each condition. Select the cells. Click on Conditional Formatting and select Highlight Cell Rules. Select Equal to. Click in the box and then click in the cell where the icon is. In the Format drop-down, select Custom Format. In the Font tab, pick a font color and click on OK. Click on OK. The first icon is colored. Create two more rules for other conditions. 
all the same icons are colored with the same color. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.